Let me take you step by step through the effective measures to control bleeding and the application and use of the rescue bandage. Firstly, remove the rescue bandage from its packaging. You'll then need to undo the bandage so that it's ready to apply. Make sure that you extend the bandage all the way. Once you undo the rescue bandage, quickly identify the inside and outside of the bandage to ensure correct application. Next, it's important to identify the best landmark to apply the rescue bandage. Ideally, this will be about five to seven centimetres above the wound toward the body. It's ideal to expose the skin so that the bandage is in direct contact with the skin to maximise effect. And always remember to never apply the rescue bandage over a joint. Once you undo and extend the rescue bandage, place the end of the bandage with the inflatable bulb over the limb. Wrap the length of the rescue bandage around the limb so that it overlaps the bandage. Make sure that the bandage is firm and continue until the Velcro comes in contact with the bandage and secure and fasten. Simply squeeze the bulb to inflate the cuff to apply enough pressure to arrest the bleeding. If for any reason that you need to remove the cuff, you can simply press the button to release the pressure and release the Velcro strap. One final but very important step is to identify the time that the rescue bandage was applied. This can be easily marked on the outside of the bandage. Remember, the rescue bandage is just one part of the overall management of serious bleeding. Always make sure that you call emergency services and reassure the casualty and those assisting you.